friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india in this video we are going to see how deep to go to hold the nucleus if the nucleus is soft as in this case we can just do a nice hydrodelineation which will demarcate the nucleus and we can see this is a very small nucleus so in such cases we need not divide the nucleus we can just pick it up and engulf it at on go like this go into the anterior chamber with bevel down aspirate some cortex and then just pick off the nucleus and start emulsifying it the whole thing gets emulsified in a very short time so if the nucleus is small and if the cataract is soft we need not divide the nucleus into fragments we can just emulsify as shown in this case after hydro delineation but if the nucleus is little harder we should divide the nucleus into several pieces i can see this is a case with grade 2 plus nucleus sclerosis not very hard cataract how deep to go to hold this nucleus all nuclei are usually more than 3.5 mm in thickness usually 4 mm and very hard nuclei maybe even 5 mm thick so after removing the superficial cortex if we just bury the 2.8 mm tip into the substance of the nucleus we go sufficient depth we go about 3 mm or 3. 5 mm deep and that is enough so if we bury the tip completely into the substance of the nucleus then it is enough so like this case just hold it chop it and emulsify into pieces all these cases are real time and it's not this nucleus management part is not at all edited and now after this case we are going to see another case sometimes epinucleus takes a longer time than management of nucleus this is a cataract with grade 3 nucleus sclerosis we will see how deep to go to hold the nucleus in this case after a nice hydro dissection the tip of the phaco needle is introduced into the anterior chamber with its bevel towards the lens mass some cortical lens matter is aspirated for direct chop i am always at high vacuum with this machine oatly catrix 3 of arrows from switzerland that is the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and it ensures that you are at adequate depth you are the lower part of the tip is at about 4 mm deep because we have removed some superficial cortex that can be about 1 mm and it is going into the rest of the nucleus so we get a depth of about 3.75 to 4 mm and that is enough to have a nice hold and to facilitate 
dividing of the nucleus into several pieces. And now see this. This heminucleus has not been rotated. It has been just tilted and it is divided into two pieces and it is removed. This maneuver is not recommended for beginners. We should do some hydro again and this epinucleus should be brought at the center and then it can be either removed by the phacon needle or by irrigation and aspiration. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.